Hello everyone, welcome to Channel You. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey to uncover the mysteries of Oberon, a colossal moon orbiting the distant ice giant Uranus, located at the very edge of our solar system. This frozen world, shrouded in darkness and mystery, beckons us to explore its enigmatic surface and ponder the secrets it might hold beneath its icy crust. Could there be traces of life hidden within its depths? Or is it merely a barren wasteland, devoid of any activity? In the annals of astronomical discovery, few stories are as intriguing as that of Uranus and its moons. The tale begins in 1781 when the brilliant British astronomer William Herschel, using a homemade telescope, identified a new planet in the night sky, marking the first expansion of the known solar system boundaries in human history. This newfound world, Uranus, was not just a solitary wanderer. It was accompanied by a retinue of moons, the first of which were discovered by Herschel himself just six years later in 1787. Herschel's keen observations led him to identify two major moons of Uranus, Titania and Oberon. However, the initial reception of these discoveries was met with skepticism. For nearly half a century following Herschel's announcement, no other astronomer managed to confirm the existence of these moons, largely due to the rudimentary nature of telescopes at the time. The primitive instruments available in the late 18th century made it exceedingly difficult to verify such distant and faint objects. Adding to the controversy, Herschel claimed to have observed four additional moons, a claim that would later prove erroneous. Despite his meticulous observations, these ghost moons turned out to be nothing more than optical illusions or artifacts of his equipment. This misstep cast a shadow of doubt over the legitimacy of his earlier discoveries, leading to prolonged debates within the scientific community. It wasn't until the mid-19th century that the existence of Titania and Oberon was finally confirmed, solidifying Herschel's legacy as a pioneering astronomer. In a nod to literary tradition, the moons were named after characters from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, breaking from the convention of naming celestial bodies after figures from ancient mythology. While this decision initially sparked controversy, it has since become an accepted and celebrated aspect of astronomical nomenclature. Oberon, the fourth largest moon of Uranus and the tenth largest moon in the solar system, is a world of profound mystery and allure. With a diameter of approximately 1,522 kilometers, it is less than half the size of Earth's moon and about one-third the size of Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede. Despite its relatively modest dimensions, Oberon ranks as the ninth most massive moon in the solar system, a testament to its substantial density and composition. Oberon orbits Uranus at a distance of about 583,520 kilometers, making it the outermost of the five large, spherical moons of the ice giant. Like all moons in the solar system, Oberon is tidally locked to its parent planet, meaning it always presents the same face to Uranus. It completes one orbit and one rotation every 13.5 days, a period synchronized with its orbital motion around Uranus. What sets Oberon apart is its unique relationship with the bizarre axial tilt of Uranus. Unlike most planets, which rotate on an axis roughly perpendicular to their orbital plane, Uranus is tilted at an extreme angle of 98 degrees. This means that during each Uranian year, which lasts 84 Earth years, the north and south poles of Uranus take turns facing the sun, resulting in extreme seasonal variations. Consequently, the poles of Oberon experience 42 years of continuous sunlight followed by 42 years of total darkness, creating a stark contrast between its illuminated and shadowed hemispheres. Oberon, the second largest moon of Uranus, is a world shrouded in mystery and darkness. Among the entire Uranian system, only Umbriel, another of Uranus's moons, is darker than Oberon. This enigmatic satellite, with its dark and reddish hue, has long fascinated astronomers and planetary scientists. However, due to its great distance from Earth and relatively small size, 
studying Oberon through ground-based telescopes has been a daunting challenge. For decades, the knowledge about Oberon remained sparse, with only a few tantalizing glimpses offering hints of its true nature. The situation changed dramatically in January 1986 when the Voyager 2 spacecraft, on its epic journey through the outer solar system, made a close flyby of Oberon. At its closest approach, Voyager 2 came within 470,600 kilometers of the Moon, a distance greater than that between Earth and the Moon. While this might seem like a considerable distance, it was the closest any spacecraft had come to Oberon and it provided unprecedented views of the moon's surface. Voyager 2 managed to capture detailed images of about 40% of Oberon's surface, primarily the southern hemisphere, which was fully illuminated by the sun at the time. The northern hemisphere, on the other hand, was in the midst of a long, dark winter, making it invisible to the spacecraft's cameras. The images returned by Voyager 2 revealed a world scarred by countless impact craters, some of which are over 200 kilometers in diameter. These craters, formed by collisions with asteroids and comets, bear witness to the violent history of the outer solar system. One of the most prominent features on Oberon's surface is the Hamlet Crater, a massive impact basin with a diameter of 206 kilometers. Surrounding this crater are bright, radiating ejecta patterns, suggesting that the impact occurred relatively recently in geological terms. Other notable craters include Othello, Macbeth, and Lear, each with its own unique characteristics and geological history. In addition to the numerous craters, Oberon's surface is also marked by a network of canyons and rifts. These geological features known as Graben, are believed to have formed during the early stages of the Moon's evolution, when internal expansion caused the crust to fracture. The most striking of these canyons is Mamar Chasma, a deep and extensive rift that cuts across the Moon's surface. These canyons provide valuable insights into the internal structure and geological processes that have shaped Oberon over billions of years. Scientists and enthusiasts of extraterrestrial life often assert, where there is water, there is life. This adage holds a profound truth, especially within our solar system, where one of the most famous celestial bodies with a subsurface ocean is Jupiter's moon Europa. However, Europa is not alone in this regard. Could the same be true for Oberon, one of Uranus's moons? The possibility is indeed high but it comes with nuances that might slightly temper our excitement. Firstly, it's important to note that even if life exists on Oberon, it would likely be vastly different from what we know on Earth. The Sun, though still visible from the Uranian system, is too dim to penetrate the thick ice crust of Oberon. This means that photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy, is impossible in the subsurface ocean. Consequently, the familiar flora and fauna we associate with Earth's ecosystems would not survive in such an environment. Instead, any life forms that might exist would need to rely on alternative energy sources, such as hydrothermal vents or chemosynthesis, processes that do not require sunlight. The interior of Oberon, like many large celestial bodies in the outer solar system, is characterized by high temperatures and pressures. These conditions ensure that the subsurface ocean remains liquid, despite the frigid temperatures on the surface. The high pressure also raises the boiling point of water, creating an environment where life could theoretically thrive in extreme conditions. Imagine primitive organisms, perhaps akin to the extremophiles found in Earth's deep-sea vents, living in the hot, pressurized waters of Oberon's hidden ocean. Another intriguing aspect is the presence of organic compounds on Oberon's surface. Compounds like tholins, complex organic molecules formed by the irradiation of simpler substances, are abundant in the outer solar system. If these organic materials can seep through the ice crust and into the subsurface ocean, they could provide the building blocks for life. The combination of organic matter from above and the liquid water from below creates a potentially fertile ground for the emergence of life. However, all of this remains speculative. To transform these hypotheses into scientific facts, 
we need more data. Currently, the only detailed information we have about Oberon comes from the Voyager 2 flyby in 1986, which captured images of only a portion of the moon's surface. Since then, no other mission has visited the Uranian system, and no probe has ever landed on Oberon's surface. The moon remains a largely unexplored frontier, shrouded in mystery. To advance our understanding, a new mission to the Uranian system is essential. Such a mission would require a spacecraft equipped with advanced instruments capable of mapping the moon's surface in high resolution and probing its subsurface layers. It could also include a lander or a rover to conduct in situ analyses and search for signs of life. While no such mission is currently planned, the scientific community is increasingly advocating for one. The potential discoveries on Oberon and other moons of Uranus could revolutionize our understanding of the conditions necessary for life in the universe. The journey to uncover the secrets of Oberon is just beginning. With each new mission and every piece of data collected, we edge closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the cosmos? The red, icy world of Oberon, with its hidden ocean and potential for life, beckons us to explore further. Whether through robotic probes or, someday, human explorers, the mysteries of this distant moon will eventually be revealed, adding another chapter to the story of life in the universe. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Oberon. If you found this journey fascinating, please like and share this video with your friends and family. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures into the unknown. Until next time, keep looking up and wondering about the mysteries of the cosmos.